The Henry's Fork of the Snake River, located in eastern Idaho, is one of America's top fly fishing destinations. Abundant with trout, this 150 mile stretch has legendary hatches, making it classic dry fly water. Anglers come from all over the world to fish this diverse river locale. But what if you have no poles, no boat, no flies, no basic fishing knowledge for that matter? Thank God for outfitters. We reached out to Three Rivers Ranch and hired a guide, Logan here, to turn us into competent trout wranglers. If, uh, if it looks like I can't cast, it's because it's so cold. <laughs> it's my hand's fault, it's the cold's fault. Okay, good, that was a good cast. So oh, wait, we're that just gonna mine. fish the edge here, Logan? Just for a second. Um, we're gonna start off on this left side. Oh my gosh. And then, uh, so make sure you're mend that. I think you're tangled. You think I'm tangled already? We've been out here for two minutes. Yeah, you tangled on your first cast. I got tangled on my first cast. Bring it up to me. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a long That's day. That's good. I feel like that's your fault. That's the way that you <laughs> tied that. <laughs> So this section is Stones Bridge down to Ashton. We're on the Henry's Fork of the Snake River. I think the last I heard, this section has like, I think it's 5,000 fish per mile. Holy cow. It's one of, the, one of the best fish per mile sections on the Henry's Fork. There's a lot of small fish in here. It's good for beginners to learn how to fight, fight fish on for the first time. Um, but you also have a chance at, at big fish in here as well. Yeah. But yeah, there's there's no bad day on the river. Um, when you're out here, you're not you're not thinking about anything else in your normal life. This is what you're focused on. You're not focused on any of the any other drama or problems in your life. It's it's very relaxing. That's what they call it as in sport, correct? That's, that's correct. That's great, Logan. But are we ever gonna catch any fish? Go ahead and recast that real quick, John. See all this blue water right here, right where you're going, John. That's right where you want to be. So there's a good, there's a big shelf right here. Yep, there you go. All right, he's fighting. He's, he's a pretty fighting. good fighter. He's a big yeah. fish. I don't know what he is, but he's a big. That one. guy over here. Oh, that's yeah, a nice that's spirit. Good. Back towards us a little bit. Come here, big guy. Up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch, yeah. Logan. Holy cow! He nailed it. Look at that thing. Nice fish. What is that? It's a white fish. It's a white fish. Oh yeah, I gotta get the, I gotta get the patented cheese smile with this one. This one counts as two, Case. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Good. There you go. Good. 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 All right. Got it, big guy. I have never even heard of a whitefish. Rocky Mountain whitefish. Rocky Mountain whitefish. Do you feel any more confident about your cast? No. No? no. It's a yeah. lot better than when you started. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I feel more confident. <laughs> Logan go. just said I'm a lot better than you are. So, um. I always tell people to uh, put their rods down for five or 10 minutes a day and, and look around. You don't, you don't get to see this every day. And I gotta say, it is pretty exciting to hook fish. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been yelling at you guys all day. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel for weekly adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any travel questions for us, we would love to see them in the comments section. And if you haven't watched Epic Idaho yet, make sure you head over to Visit Idaho and check it out. Link to the series is in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.